Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and a bunch of others. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is how you can go about getting your songs onto these streaming platforms like Spotify, like Apple Music, like Pandora, and so forth. I've realized that a lot of newer artists don't necessarily know how to move their songs from free platforms like SoundCloud and Audio Mac onto these paid streaming services so that they can start to utilize them. So I want to show you guys how you can do so. Now, if this is something that you already know how to do, you may not want to stick around for this video unless you just want to know what I think about these two platforms that I'm about to mention. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, in order to upload your music to these platforms, you need what is known as a distributor or a distribution service. Now, the two that I always recommend are DistroKid and TuneCore. Mainly because I know they're both pretty professional and pretty reliable. They're ones that I've worked with in the past myself. I also have friends and peers who swear by them both for various reasons depending on the platform. Now as of right now I have a DistroKid account so what I want to do is walk you guys through the back end and show you what it's like to upload your songs directly through the platform while using DistroKid itself. So with that being said let's get right into it. Alright guys so here we are inside of the DistroKid account. Now obviously the first thing you need to do is come to their website sign up and make you an account. Once you do, it'll take you to the option to pick between one of their three tier plans. So as you can see here, they have the $19.99 a year plan, the $35.99 a year plan, and the $79.99 a year plan. Now each of them does allow you to upload as many songs as you want a year, which is one of DistroKid's biggest plus. Personally, I would recommend that you guys go for the Musician Plus account. The reason being is, as you can see, each of them has their own unique benefits, you know, that kind of coincides with what the plan is. Uh, the reason I say go for the Musician Plus account is because is one that allows you to create your own label name for your releases. So if you know anyone with a DistroKid account, you've ever seen something underneath their song that says like DK10096 or something like that. That means they have a musician account and personally I think that that's ugly. I think that you guys should definitely be naming the label place for your releases. Even if you don't have a label, just make something up. Like make up a company name or something but don't just leave their little, you know, number that they create. Like I said, I don't like the way that that looks. So once you create your account, it pretty much takes you to the home page and that's what we'll get started guys so here we are inside of my dashboard um i created a distro kid account just for this video for my company the artist society i used to have a distro kid account a couple of years ago for this job that i was working for but once i stopped working for it obviously they didn't let me keep the login information so i have to show you guys how to do this kind of from scratch so you would just want to come to click here to upload music and once you do it takes you to the page that you need to upload your music to apple music to spotify to title to deezer all of that so as you can see they do distribute to all of the main stores so all of the ones I just mentioned plus some like iHeart, Pandora, Amazon, all of pretty much the main services and then some. So it's a pretty standard release form you know you need all of the simple information just like how many songs are you releasing, has this song been previously released on streaming platforms before, your artist name, the release date, do you want to have it pre-ordered, do you want your fans to be able to buy this song before it actually hits the stores, you know that way you can put a little extra money in your pocket before see who really supports you, or do you want to just leave that blank and then we have the record label name which like I was talking about earlier guys this is very important I like I said I think that DK with the number is very ugly very unprofessional looking so that's why I would shoot for one of the higher tier plans if you can if for nothing else for this reason alone DistroKid also creates UPC codes for you and your music so if you don't know how or if you don't have a UPC code for any of your releases they'll do it for you which is actually pretty helpful and then like I said all of the other basic things like the album cover what language the genre you're in and then the track title it also has an option here for if you're someone who's uploading a cover song that they'll let you release those songs to platforms through DistroKid which is actually pretty helpful I'm not sure if other streaming services allow you to do this and I know that they also have a kind of blanket protection for songwriters who are doing cover songs which I'll show you guys a little later in the video and then once you get all the information typed in so your track price for things like iTunes and Google you have the files uploaded let them know the lyrics so once you get all the information typed in you would just want to scroll down here to the bottom and they have a couple of extra options for your releases that you don't have to go with but some of them are actually pretty useful for instance the store maximizer 
which pretty much lets this show kid put your song into any new stores as they get created. So let's say for example that I wake up tomorrow morning and go, hmm, I want to create a streaming service. I think I could compete with Spotify. I'm gonna make XYZ streaming. Then this show kid would automatically put your song into XYZ streaming without you having to do any extra work. So it's pretty useful, especially for today where we have streaming services popping up left and right. And then there are also streaming services out there that you guys may not even know about. And there are literally dozens or even hundreds of these streaming sites that you guys probably have never even heard of and having something like this keeps you from having to keep up with all of that and another cool feature is the leave a legacy feature which isn't necessarily as needed as something like the store maximizer i just think it's pretty cool about this show kid is they won't delete your song from a store just because you stop paying your membership fee so if you were to you know worst case scenario die and you couldn't afford to keep paying to keep your song on these platforms they won't delete it so that way your family or whoever you know gets your stuff will still be able to collect your royalties from this show kid from your songs while the, even while you're gone which is which is pretty cool and then you would just check all these boxes and then click done and boom there you would have it your stuff will be on its way to being into stores so one of the things that i do like about this show kit is it does seem to be a lot faster than some of the other distributors so i have friends who personally use this show kit and they swear by it one of my best friends uploaded his song to this show kit on a monday and it was in spotify by thursday which i think is absolutely insane that's actually pretty fast i've used other distributors and sometimes it takes them like a week or even a little bit longer to get songs into these other stores so that's another one of their major selling points is that they are actually pretty fast and i also want to show you guys the settings page uh just because it has a couple of other cool features that this show kid does have so as you can see here you can get your lyrics uploaded into apple music and itunes they have this uh function called the hyper follow function which it pretty much creates a link for you and as soon as someone clicks on the link it automatically follows you on spotify and automatically saves your song to their library which is pretty cool you can get your spotify for artist account created through distro kid and you also have the ability to whitelist certain songs um, from the youtube money claims so if you did some kind of like collaborative effort with a youtube channel let's say you got your stuff on to no jumper and they were like we're gonna claim the money for this you could just easily come into your distro kit and take that claim off the video so that you could honor the partnership and like i was talking earlier about the cover songs for the songwriters they do help you with the licenses so that way you don't get sued and your stuff doesn't get taken down which is another thing that i also find very cool about distro kit i don't know how many other distribution services actually help songwriters and cover artists keep their stuff online or even put it up for that matter but you know even past that help you actually make sure it stays online and it doesn't get taken down and that you're legally protected to keep your music out so yeah that's something else that i think is really cool about the platform so yeah there it is guys i just wanted to show you all the back end of distro kid just so you could get an idea of it see if it's something that you would like like i said some of the key points of it i really like is that it is a lot faster some of the other distributors um it's pretty cheap uh, as you saw the 19.99 plan and the other two plans like that's not a lot especially for a year you know that's like dollars a month to save up just to make sure your music stays out there so yeah check it out see if it's something you're interested in and if it is you know get to it guys all right guys so there it is that's how you will go through that process if you decide to go with distro kid now another one that i could definitely recommend is tunecore it's a service that i reliably use for the past couple of years until i started to get into distro kid now for the most part they do pretty much the same things meaning that you can also get your songs into all of the major platforms through tunecore you can also monetize your youtube use it as a publishing administration all of that their biggest draw at the moment is that the only distribution service that allows you to monetize your music on Facebook and Instagram. Now, I'm sure that it's something that all the others will offer in the future, but as of right now, they're the only one that does so. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would definitely check out TuneCore. Now, if you were to come to me and say, Corey, I've looked into them both. I like what they have to offer but I can't decide between the two which distribution service should I go with. I would look in your eyes and I would say DistroKid. Now, I know earlier I said that for the most part, they both pretty much do the exact same thing, so I'm sure that you're wondering why. And the reason being is money. Now, in the long run, TuneCore can definitely add up to being the most expensive option of the two. With TuneCore, there's a fee for you to create your account. There's also an additional fee for every album or song that you want to upload. So, if you're an artist who drops a lot of songs, you'll definitely start to run those pockets a lot more. I also also know that a lot of indie artists watch this channel and I'm pretty sure that you guys are trying to stretch your dollar for as far as it can possibly go. So luckily for you guys, I partnered up with this show kid to get you a little something, something off your sign off fee. If you go into the description and check out that link and use it, it'll make sure you get like 7% or something off your sign up total. If that's something that you're interested in, definitely go ahead and check that out. Now as always guys, if you feel like you learned anything today, please like and share this video. Hit those post notifications as well as I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything. 
Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.